gold against US dollar this week has made a bearish breakout and we can see that the price has formed this breakout on a Tuesday. Very strong bearish candle that has gone below 2016 and it has closed down and, and the next day candle reached this, this start of this demand zone around 1979 which is 1980. After that the price has made a small a bullish pin bar which has triggered the price for the back up up to 2016 and the price stop it right here. On the weekly analysis this looks like this where the price has formed a large wick and small candle body where we can see that the price has closed below these candles and also below 2016 on the weekly time frame. On the monthly time frame this looks as, as a bearish candle and in the previous week analysis I have mentioned that I'm expecting that the price will drop down and this is something that has happened right now where we have a candle body still forming on the monthly time frame and we have two more weeks until this month ends so everything is still open until this week uh, two weeks ends especially the next week I'm still open to see the price going even more down and then we will see how this looks a very important level for the monthly time frame stays as, as before as the previous quick analysis and that is very important level 1980 which is a very important level on the monthly time frame if it closes below this will mean a sell-off is still going even more down until that happens on the weekly time frame and especially on the daily time frame I'm still open to see the price around this stopping here at 1980 and then watching where the price could go making a bullish breakout on the daily time frame or a bearish breakout. So for now everything is still open, I'm still uh, waiting how the week will end and also the daily time frame, so I will go on the weekly time frame to see how this looks. For now as it looks we can see the price is in the small downtrend and we can see this week the price has formed this candle, uh, bullish a pin bar right here at the support level where the price has closed below these candles bodies which means also some kind of uh, potential uh, price going even more down. A very important level, we can, we'll see uh, it is here around 2003, but we will see that on the daily time frame. So for now, as it looks right now, I would say that the price could also move even more down on the weekly time frame. And we can see that very important level is still here at 2003. So if the price goes below this one on the weekly time frame, this will trigger again that the price will reach around 1980. This is, uh, this is the very important level also on the weekly time frame we can see. Now if the price goes above and very important level is this one here, which is 2038 on the weekly time frame. 2040 we can round that number if it goes above this will mean that the bulls have overtaken this uh, area and the sellers who have pushed the price even more down and reached this area 2016 this will mean they have lost their battle and the bulls have overtaken where the price could reach again 2072 now on the daily time frame this is much more clearly visible where the price is currently uh, where the price could go and where the price currently is this was an area, as an decision area, where we have waited for the price that makes a breakout to the downside or the upside. The price tried to make a breakout to the upside two times unsuccessfully and then the price this week made a bearish breakout, which means the sellers are much stronger and they have uh, pushed the price to reach around 1980 and then the price returned back up, which means these are the candles, two candles that could not return back the price above in this week, which means the sellers are much stronger than the buyers are. So I'm expecting there is a potential that the price could form here uh, some kind of a bearish pin bar uh, that will suggest that the price will move down and reach around 1980. A very important level is this one here. We can see it 1980, which is a monthly and a weekly time frame support level and even though now currently daily. So if the price goes above, above 2016, the price will return back inside this indecision range area and then we will need to wait where the price will make a breakout to the upper side or to the downside. But for now I'm expecting that the price will stay down 
until the breakout happens on the upside. If the breakout happens on the daily time frame, I will make the daily analysis and will share what would be the potential next target for the price and I will share that inside the Telegram group. The Telegram is below, inside, below in the description, so if you would like to check, feel free to check that. So if the price goes above, this will mean decision range area and if the price forms here some kind of uh, price action signal, a bearish one, it will mean that the price will reach this area here. I'm still expecting to see the price going down and reaching this area like in this example here and for that I will need to see what happens around this price level. Very important level for the price is 2072 and we can see if the price makes a breakout above 2048 and I have seen that uh, around 2040 is a very important level and we can see why it is that because if the price makes a breakout above this price level this will mean some kind of a trigger that could make a breakout to the upper side in reaching this area around 2072. Until that happens the price is inside in the range area and it will be uh, necessary to wait until the price makes a breakout like in this example. So this is all for this weekly analysis, see you next time and happy trading! That is all from today's analysis, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question feel free to leave a comment. If you like the analysis click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and a happy trading!